Now, I want to get into something that I believe is going to change your life. As we, as we look at the Bible, the Word of God, there are some words or terms that we have to be careful with. We must look deep and understand the real meaning of some of these terms. Or we will miss the powerful truth that can change our lives. So, so let's take a word like judgment. Oh, ah. Judgment. When you hear this word, it's like a fear. I don't want to be judged by God. But do you know what judgment really means? You see, judgment is not about destruction. It's about protection. Amen. Amen. You saw in the Old Testament, God would judge an entire city. To protect people from it. Because it would have destroyed the children of Israel. Come on, amen. Amen. In the New Testament, you, you have the story in Acts about Ananias and Sapphira. They came, they sold their land, they brought the money to the apostles, and they said, Was it for this amount? And they lied in front of the men of God. And God judged them for it. Why? Why them? Why, why them for lying? You see, because the power of God was moving like never before. And God did not want people to be judged. Be destroyed. So he, he said, be careful that you understand that the power comes with consequences. And great fear came on people. And great respect for the apostles. So judgment is a, a good thing. Amen. Amen. We should be praying every day. God, judge me. Judge my life. There's anything that can destroy me. Deal with it. Judge God. Because I want to be protected. Come on, amen. Let's take another word. Holiness. <laughs> what does it mean to be holy? I don't believe you should be. Come on, amen. Amen. I can tell you what it doesn't mean. It has nothing to do with your clothes, how much makeup you have on, what kind of car you drive, what kind of car you live in, what kind of, car you live in, what kind of, car you, what kind of home you live in. It has nothing to do with the dress. I dress very conservatively. No short skirts. <laughs> My shirt's not too scorched. <laughs> I'm holy now. Yeah, Has nothing to do with the outside. Has everything to do with your heart. And this is the command of God. Be holy as I am holy. What makes God holy? What is the thing that makes God holy? Here it is. There is none like him. There is no one like our God. 
бидний бурхдаа ижил бурхан ерөөсө байхгүй he is higher тэр бүгдээс дээгүүр тэр илүү агуу there is no other god like him there is none that is better than him тэр ижил бурхан байхгүй түүнээс илүү санаж байхгүй like our god тэр ижил нэг гэж байхгүй лээ he is distinct тэр бусдаас ялгаатай he is different тэр өөр from every other god бусад бухтаас ялгаатай come on amen amen to be holy тэр ариун байна гэж means to be distinct ялгарахсан гэсэн үг come on amen amen what makes us holy өнөөдөр бид нэг юу ариун байлгаж байна is that we're not like everybody else бид бусадтай ижилхэн биш учраас эд бидний ариун байлгаж байна гэсэн үг come on amen amen we should be holy different distinct бид бусдаас ялгаатай байх хэрэгтэй listen when the prophet saw god he says i was in the the temple on the lord's day тахилж ингэж хэлж байгаа би ингээд үзэгдэл үзэл эзэн тухай he said i saw the lord би эзний харлаа high and lifted up тэр өндөрт өргөцсөн байна and his his cape his train filled the temple түүний нөмөрг нь чуулганыг нөмөрсөн байна гэж and when he saw god тэр бурхныг харсан чин he said this he said i am unclean би бодор байгаа байна гэсэн i i need to i i'm an unclean person Би бодор би ариун биш үү? I need to be cleansed. I need to be holy. Би цэвэрлэг тэг хэрэгтэй. Би ариун болох хэрэгтэй байна. Why? Because he saw for the first time. Яг л бүхний тэр анх удаа харж байгаа гэсэн. Like. Бүхний ямар вэ гэдэг мэдж байгаа мэдсэн учраас. He saw that he was not like God. Би өөрөө бүхэнд айдлан биш байгаа байна гэдэг ойлгосон. Come on, amen. Amen. He saw I'm just like everybody else. Би бусдаа яг ижилхэн байгаа байна гэдэг тэр олж мэдчихэн асуу. And what are the angels were flying around. They said the vision. And they were shouting. Тэд бүгдээрээ хашгирч байгаа гэсэн. Holy. Ариун. Holy. Ариун. Holy. Ариун. Is our God. Бидний бурхан бол ариун гэж. You are distinct. Та бусдаас яг асуу. You are different. Та өөр. You are holy. Та бол ариун. Different than the other angels. Бусдаас өөрөө гэж тэнгэр ижлэн хашгирч байна. Recognize it. Түүний төгж одоо алдаа шууж байгаа гэсэн. They cry holy. бүгдээ хамтаад гэж хашгирч байна. We different. Бид өөр байх хэрэгтэй. See, Mongolia, listen. We don't We don't need more Christians. Нэг олон тийм одоо яг гэдэг ингийн итгэсний бид төсөхгүй байна. We need more holy Christians. Бид нь ариун итгэснэр хэрэгтэй байна. So many people in church. Зөв олон хүмүүс ирж байна цуглаан дээр. We learn. Come on, amen. Бид ингээ сурдаг тийм ээ. How to be Christians. Яа хэрэгс юм болох вэ гэсэн. Yeah, right? Тэмэ. We have a vocabulary. Бид нэг тусга хэлэг байгаа. How are you today? Хөө сайн юу байна даа? Blessed. Ай, ивэг тулт хаа. Highly favored. Ай. God is good. Бурхан бол сайн. God is able. Ва бурхан үнэхээр боломжтой. Come on, amen. Бурхан чадна гэл. We learn. Бид нэг янз зэ хэлэг гэсэн. When to raise our hand. Гараа өргө сурна. When to clap. Гараа гэдэг тасан сурна. You can always tell when someone is new, right? Come on. Тэгэхээр хүний шууд хараад мэддэг шүү дээ. Тэ энэ бол аяг тийч шинэ ирсэн байна. We're clapping now. Oh yeah. Алгаад шүү, алгаад шүү гэж. Оо тийм үг л. They don't laugh at the right time. Зүг үтэ инээхгүй байх хүмүүс тийм ээ. They don't know when to say amen at the right time. Тэгэ амин хэ мэдэхгүй байх шинэ хүмүүс нь. We learn. Энэ их сурдаг байгаа бид нар. How to be Christians. Хэрхэн итгэж болох тухай. Come on. Amen. Amen. But in our heart. Харин дөрөв сэтгэлдээ. Are we holy? Ариун байна уу гэдэг хэч болно. Are we different? Бусдаас өөр байна уу гэдэг. Everybody else. Энэ дэлхийн outside these doors. Энэ хаалганаас гадна байгаа хүмүүсээс бид нар ялгаатай байж чадж байна уу? Not in our clothing. Хуцаараа бид нар ялгах хэрэггүй. Not in our makeup, not in our өөрөө гоо сайхан ч юм уу? But in our hearts. Харин зүс сэтгэлээр бид нар ялгах хэрэгтэй. Are we different? Бид өөр байж чадж байна уу? What makes us holy? Бидний юу ариун болох юм бэ? Байлга тийм бэ? is that we are different on the inside. Би дотроо өөр байх хэрэгтэй. I want to challenge you with this because we have thought being holy means that we're not involved in sexual immorality or other kinds of immoral things. Би тийм ингээд өөрөө ингээд ариун гэдэг их ингээд оо би ямар нэг тийм бодзор болоо юмд орцоог учраас би ариун гэж боддог. But when we look at God and what he how he operates. Гэтэ бурхны харах юм бол бурхан яаж ажлаа хийдэг вэ гэхээр In the book of Leviticus. Чи левит нэм дээр. This is All these things in the book of Leviticus God said right Don't eat this type of animal Don't eat this don't eat Don't eat shellfish Don't shrimp Shrimp одоо тэр сам хоб гэдэг дээр гэдэг. Don't eat that Ийм битгий тийм битгий гэдэг. When the, the, the children of Israel came out of Egypt 
No Israeli who could give this kashirat. He gave them the ten commandments. Did he? Didn't Aaron hold that commandment? Don't steal. Did he hold that? Don't covet your neighbor's wife. Don't commit adultery. Don't worship other gods. Did he? Did he? Why? 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 Everybody was cheating. Everybody was doing it. And so he says, I need my people to be different. Come on, amen. Amen. That's why he told us. See, see the word holy means to cut. And separate. That's not the tosar lachsot. Come on, amen. Amen. Now, what is he trying to cut us from? Be the Yunus taslat ame. Not the world. Come on. In the Yunus be the taslat. Get that out of your head. In the tosar lachsot, karach ayre zayu. It's wrong thinking. Boro botshun. God loves the world. Borchun in the yunus hayte. And he wants us to be in the world. Be the in the yunus bayaga sayu. Making a difference. In the yunus winning souls. Winning souls. He doesn't want us out of the world. He wants us in the world. Or else, how will he change it? If you take all the Christians out, and we go, we live in one little area. This is this is the Christian part of town. We will not change the world. So he wants us in the world. But he wants us to be different. To be holy. Come on, amen. Amen. In the world, but not of the world. There's a story in the Bible. About a man named Naaman. Naaman get the money. Now here it is, Second Kings chapter five. Look at this. Well, wait a second. Let's go to Exodus chapter three first. Let's. I want to. I love this point. Exodus chapter three. Get the money. Go on. When y'all got a Bible, come on. Let's. Under the Bible, Tuesday. Get the money. Go on. You get this question, right? Don't just look up here at my nice black face. Come on. Minute to the Nur Dubti Haradarin. Read the word of God. Come on, Amen. Or the Bible to Haradarin. Exodus chapter three. Get the money. Go on. Tuesday. Now. This is important because this is the first time that a human being comes in contact with God outside of Adam. Moses at the burning bush. And this is what it says in verse five. He said, "Take off your shoes." Because the ground that you are standing on is holy. It's different. In the old way, so amen. Amen. The ground is different here. In Qatar, old Qatar. It's not like the other places. Old Qatar, the earth is bigger. This is different. In the old. Come on, amen. Amen. Now look up here. My nice black face. I'm gonna help you right now. I'm gonna help you right now. I've been a Christian for 27 years. And I've been in the ministry for 25. I've seen all kinds of Christians. You see, they come to church. They're on their phone. They're texting people. They're eating during the church service. Leaving trash on the ground. And they are talking. Thinking about other things. And they treat the house of God like everywhere else. Come on, amen. Amen. It is the same. But this is holy ground. 
энэ газар бол ариун газар this is different энэ бол өөр газар this is not like any other place that you go to таны очдог өөр газраас нь ялгаатай байх гэсэн газар but if you don't know the difference харин та нар ялгааг нь мэдэхгүй бол then you cannot get the blessing ерөөл нь хүртэж чадахгүй гэсэн үг come on amen amen people ask for miracles and ask for god to move and ask for god to help them хийгээс ямар нэгэн зүйл болоосо өөрсд гараасаа гэж хүсдэг and this is the place in газар тэр болох штэ where you're supposed to get your miracle таны гайхамшиг энэ газар биелэх штэ газар байхгүй but only if it's holy for you энэ газар таны хувьд ариун байж ич энэ боломжтой come on amen amen you treat the house of god it's ni өргөөг like you treat everywhere else өөр газар шиг хайцсан юм бол come lay talk on the phone хоцорч ирнэ гэдэг утсаар ярьна текст мессеж чин that's what you do everywhere та өөр газар ч ингэж тэг ингэж ингэж харьцаа come on amen тийм биз дээ but here хана энэ газар this is different ground өөр газар байх хэвээр шүү this is holy ground ариун газар байх хэвээр because it's here where god will move speak to you Өөрөө энэ газар бурхан амир ухаандаа ярьдаг газар байх хэвээр шүү. Come on. Таны амьдрал хүрдэг газар байх хэвээр шүү. It's different than everywhere else you go. Өөр очдог газар ч өөр байх хэвээр энэ газар. God needs us to be holy. Эзэн биднийг ариун байлгахыг хүсдэг. Different. Ялгаатай. Distinct. Өөр everyone else ustas im oor baih khus not in our dress not in our clothing not in our homes yamar khosta yamar mashinta yamar baishinta hamagu how we live our lives must be holy bitni amdrakh amdal man oor baih khusta yama second kings chapter 5 hoyrdog khadin tapgar bulig This is the story of Naaman. За Наам гэдэг нь Наам. Наам was a, a general that conquered Israel. Израилийг эзэлж авсан генерал юм байхгүй юу? Израил юм биш өөр. Now the Bible says Библийн хэрэгтэй that he was a great man. Тэр их агуу хүн байсан гэж хэлж байгаа. He was powerful. Хүчирхэг байсан. He was wealthy. Баян байсан. He had influence. Тэр нөлөө байсан. But гэхдээ he was a leper. Тэр уйм өвчтэй байсан. Everybody understand this. Хүн болгоны ойлгодог. In the Old Testament and in the New. Хоочин гэрэн шин гэрэн дэр чигсэн. Whenever you see leprosy. Уян өвчтэй хүний хараад. It is a type of a shadow. It is an example of sin. Гэм нүгэлтэй хүнийг одоо өөгөр дүрсэлдэг байгаа юм чинь. Гэм нүгэлтэй учраас энэ уян өвчтэй өвчтэй очдог гэж хүмүүс үздэг. Here's why listen to this Яг дэдэн одоо таарсан сонсож байна. See leprosy is different than other things. Уйн өвчин гэдэг нь өөр бас өвчнөөс нэг жон ялгаатай. Now it always starts leprosy on the inside of a person. Уйн өвчин ихлэ дотроос ихэлдэг байна. And before it ever affects their outside. Гадна төрхөд ямар нэг нөлөө үзүүлдэл the virus is on the inside. Вирус аль хэдийн дотор байж байгаа хэвээр. Come on amen. Amen. Like sin Яг л гим нүгэл шиг. Sin гим нүгэл can be inside of us. Бидний дотор байж болдог. And no one see it. Хинч хагдахгүй тийм далт газар байж гэдэг. But one day, гэтэ нэг өдөр it will come to the outside. Илэрдэг байгаа. Гадаг шиг. Amen. Amen. This is why God said. Тэгээ Библи бурхан ингэж хэлж. Don't worry about cleaning the outside. Гадаг төрхөө цэвэрлэхтэй битгий анхаарлаа хандуулаач. It's not what's on the outside. Гадаг төрхөн чухал биш ээ. That makes you unclean and unholy. Тэгээ ингэ ариун биш тийм ээ цэвэрхэн биш болгож байгаа зүг гадаг чинь биш. It's what's on the inside. Хань дотор зүйл чинь хамаатай юм аж. Come on, amen. Amen. Naaman comes. Нам ирж байна. Cuz a little servant girl. Жижигэн tells him I know someone that can bring healing to you. Нэг жижигэн охин хэлж байгаа тийм. Оо таны нэг уйм өвчин нэг идгээ чадах нэг хүнийг би мэднэ. Second Kings chapter 5 verse 9 says this. Нэг хоёр дугаар хаадын тав дугаар бүлүүд ингэж хэлж байна. Naaman came. Тав юу хэвээр? With his horses. Наман өөрийн морьтой. Өөрийн одоо сүх тэрэгтэй. And he stood at the door of Elijah's house. Илиа гэрийнх нь үүд ингэж ирж байгаа юм чинь. Can you see this? Хана төсөөлж байна. He's a great general. Агуу генерал хүн. And here he comes. Ингэ ирж байна. All of his army's horses. Өөрийн айрим өөрийн цэргүүд байгаа ингэж хэлж байна. Come 
Tap tap suhtir bu teril. And he comes to this little tiny small prophet's house. Nijik gang ne tet hakilchin giri udndir ochin otgoy tan. Naaman is a great general. He's all the medals and everything. Yan zan zan gal baahan medal za taltay gal mundu khun bagash tarcha. And Elijah sends out a little boy. Өөрийн хаан үүсгэж нэг жижигхэн хүүхэд гаргаж байгаа. Can you see it? Сонор анзаач анзаар. Great man. Агуу хүн хүрч байгаа. Powerful man. Хүчирхэн хүн хүрч байгаа. And here comes a little boy. Сонор жижиг хүүхэд гарч ирсэн байна. Hi. Sign up. The prophet said. Тахилч ингэж хэлж байна. Go and dip seven times in the Jordan River. Явж Jordan гол долон удаа булах удаа араа гэж хэлж байна. Okay. Sign up. Bye. Байта. No honor. Ямар ч хүндэл байх гэсэн. Come on, amen. Amen. Can you imagine? Little boy coming out. Сүйдэд нэг жоохон хүүхдүүнийг утгаа гараад ирсэн гэд. Elijah doesn't even come out of his house. Илье түүнийг өөрөөсө тэмээ одоо гэрээсэж гарч ирээгүй тэнийг өөрөө. Send the servant boy. Go tell him. Go tell him. Зөв одоо үйлчлэгч нэг хүүдээ ингэ гараад очиж хэлж гээ явж. Now listen. Тэгээд сонсож байна. What was the real problem? Энэ хамгийн том асуудал юу байсан бэ? With Naaman. Наамны хувьд. It was a leprosy. Тэгвэл хувьд уймын өвчин биш байна. See, we could see the leprosy. Бид нар уймын өвчин хараад мэлж болно. But what we couldn't see. Гэтэ юу харж мэдгүй вэ Is the pride. Тэгвэл одоо л байгаа бардам зан бид харахгүй. He was proud. Тэр бардам байсан. He was arrogant. Тэр тий одоо хамраа сөсөнд үүсэн. Elijah knew. Илия түүний мэдж исэн. He was looking for the wrong thing. Энэ буруу үг юмаа хайгаад ирсэн байна гэсэн. See many of us in this room. Өнөөдөр бидний энэ дунд олон байгаа. Issues in our life. Амдэрд нь янз янзын асуудлууд байгаа. Like Naaman. He got upset. He got angry. Өвчтэй болсон өөр. You want to go dip in the dirty muddy Jordan River? Тэ уурлаж байгаа. Йо тэр муха тэмээ шавартай тэр Jordan гол очиж булах юм уу? He's from another place. I better rivers where I come from. Миний байдаг газар гайхалтай том том цэвэр устай газар зөндөө байна шүү. Яг тийм муха газар очиж би булхуулах хэрэгтэй юм бэ. So you got upset. Тэр уурлсан байна. And why seven times? Яг бас долоон удаа гэж. The seven is the number of completion that God. Тэгээд долоо гэдэг бол мэдээж одоо бүрэн бүтэн үгүй бүс болсон. Seven days with rest. Долоо дотор нэг зэн амардаг байгаа. To complete the earth. Долоон өдөр гэдэг тийм ээ. Одоо бүтгүх бүтээлээ бүтээчээд эзэн долоо дотор амарч ирсэн. Be told. Go. Not once, not twice. Seven times. Нэг удаа гэж хэлээгүй. Долоон удаа гэж хэлж байгаа шүү дээ. Come on, you see here's why. Listen now. За, ягаад өдөр удаа гэж хэлээ. One time. Нэг удаа. Nobody can see you. Хич түүний харахгүй шүү дээ. Нэг удаа байх. You run. Гүйж очиод. Гэс суучаа басаа одоо шүү дээ явах тэр. But seven? Хар долоон удаа гэдэг. Can stand out there? Тэр зогсож байгаа тийм ээ долоо удаа. Everybody sees. Хүмүүс зэрэг анзаарна. Юу одоо юу хийгээд байгаа бодож. You look ridiculous. Үнэхээр одоо утгагүй харагдах байхгүй тэр. But pride. Нөгөө нэг бардам зан gets dealt with. Энд байх болж байгаа гэсэн. Having to go down seven times. Долоон удаа тэд булхуулахаар тэний бардам зан байх. Amen. Amen. You see, here's the problem. Тэ энэ асуудал. Many times. Олон удаа Christians. Итгэж хүмүүс are looking for healing. Итгэр л хайгаад идэх. But they're not looking for cleansing. Гэхдээ цэвэрлэх цэвэрлэх одоо цэвэр байлийн хайдаг. They don't want to be clean. Цэвэрхэн болгоод хүсдэггүй байгаа. They just want to be healed. They just want healing. Зүгээр идэрэл их ахгүй хүсдэг. They don't want cleansing. They don't want to be Цэвэрхэн болгоод хүсдэггүй. They don't want to be цэвэрлэлтийн хүсдэг. They don't want to deal with things. Өөрөхн асуудлыг тэ цэвэрхэн болгоод байхгүй болох юм. Causing the problem. Энэ өөрөг идгэр өвчтөд болоод байгаа өвчтөд үүр болсон тэр асуудлыг They don't want to be holy. Ариун болгоод хүсдэггүй. They just want to be healed. Зүгээр идэрч гэж болсон. So help me with my problem. Миний асуудал та туслаад өгөөч гэв. But I don't want to deal with the thing that is causing the problem. Асуудлыг харин би бодоод үзвэл би өөрөө одоо очир олоо гэж. See the devil is called the lord of the flies. Муу сүнсийг бас юу хэлдэг вэ гэхээр одоо ялаануудын хаан гэж дууддаг шүү дээ. You know why they call him this? Миний байгаа газар хүмүүс гэж дууддаг. Flies are like demons. Нэр ялаавад яг л муу сүнс шиг тий. And one thing about flies. Ялаа яадаг вэ гэхээр is they always come to manure. Үргэлж тийм бохирдсон заван ялгасан газар очдог. Тийм биз дээ. Яла тийм газар татдаг тийм үү? Оо. And here's what we want to do. Харин бид юу хүсэж байна гэхээр? Lord, it's a minute. Deal with the flies. Та 
But you don't want to deal with the manure in your life. Come on, it's awful quiet in this Mongolian church. Come on, say amen. So people come to me, they, they, it's, they think it's about theology. They say, Pastor Troy, can a Christian have a demon? Can demons be in a Christian's life? And my answer is, does a Christian have manure in their life? If they do, guess what? The flies will come. Until you deal with the manure. Until you cleanse yourself. Come on, amen. Amen. God wants us to be like, you know why? Because outside the doors, out here, everybody has unforgiveness. Everybody is mad. Angry at the people that have hurt them. That's, everybody, that's, that's what everyone does. It's normal to hate people who have done bad things to you. That's, that's like everybody else. It's normal if you have a husband that has done you wrong to not love him anymore. That's not different. That's normal. It's normal to not forgive people that have hurt you. Not trust people. Not not. Forgive them when they've done bad things to you. And to be bitter and to be angry because you've been hurt. To not love and not give to people. Because it's their own fault they're like this. It's not no one's fault. It's their own fault. Why should I help them? That's normal. That's not holy. But God said, Be holy. Like I am holy. I forgave people when they didn't deserve my forgiveness. That's holy. That's different. That is distinct. Years ago in my church, you know, I had this lady. Older ladies. All the time, she had very bad arthritis. Hands, hands were crippled. And her back hunched over. And so she's in pain all the time. Coming, pastor, pray for me. Pastor, pray. Oh, pastor, that's what you do. Pray for me. Pray for me, pastor. And so I, you know, I pray because that's what pastors do. We pray for you. Know? One time, the Holy Spirit. You know? And listen to this. Everybody loves the Holy Spirit, right? Come on, amen. Right? The Holy Spirit. No, I don't know. But I think most people like the Spirit part, but they don't like the. Holy parts. Everybody likes the spirit. Huh? Huh? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. But he's called the Holy Spirit. Not just the spirit. He's the Holy Spirit. Which means he will come to bring you into holiness. Not just touch your life and heal you. Bless you. He's the Holy Spirit. Bless you. He's the Holy Spirit. 
Because she was hurt. Hands. All threats. And I said, we must forgive. Listen. Listen. She said, I can't. Now listen now. When someone says they can't, what they really mean is they won't. They're making a decision to not be holy. I don't back who school by next week. How can we not forgive? With yards or should go back in when we have been forgiven of so much. With Mashik to the Ost or Ost of Chad Yard when you watch Kobe Chat Gimbe. You see, it first comes to us, it did bit in the Ritik, and then it must come through us. The Taran did them to the Karstein. How dare us? How dare with Yajin Kute not forgive? When we should have been judged, come on. We don't deserve to be in this room. Right? But God is holy. He's different. And while we were sinners, He died for us. He loved us. Because He's holy. This lady, she's crying. And I pray God help her, help her God. Holy Spirit's power, come on. He's the, he's the Holy Spirit, come on, amen. He will help us to be holy. And how do we be holy? We forgive people. We love people. We by his, not by our ability, by his power. Come on, amen. Amen. We are holy because of him. I said, what is his name? She said, his name. And I said, tell him. It's not for him. He's dead, buried, gone. It's for you. Tell him you Say his name. Say it out And she said it. I forgive him. She said it. Father's name. Her husband's name. Power of God. The spirit part came onto her life. Check it out. Her, her hands straightened out. And her back. Why? She got rid of the manure. And the demon of sickness could not come anymore. Come on, amen. Amen. You see, this is why you don't search for healing. We search for cleansing. See, Naaman wanted to be healed. But he didn't want to be cleansed. He didn't want to do the work. 
He didn't want to be holy. He just wanted the man of God to come and pray for him. Again and again. So many of us in this room, you, you just come, you keep coming. Because my anointing that God has given me, the power of God in my life can help you. But it cannot cleanse you. Only you can cleanse yourself. So you have to keep coming every time. I'm saying, I need healing again. I need help again. I need these things out of my life again. Because you will, you will not cleanse yourself. So the flies keep coming. Naaman. Naaman. He had to get the pride out of his life. That was the real problem. That opened the door for leprosy. No one could see the pride. They can only see the leprosy. But the Holy Spirit wanted to deal with what was the real issue. He wasn't clean. He was unclean. Because of the things that were in his heart. You see, everybody has bitterness out there. Everybody's angry. Everybody out there, you're just like them if you're not holy. You're just like them. Everyone doesn't trust people. Everyone cheats and lies. Everyone is angry at people who have done something to them. But God said, I want to cut and separate you. And I need you to be different. I need you to be holy like I am holy. Real holiness is about being clean. Being cleansed. Not being healed. When you're cleansed, healing will come. You see, Mark chapter 1, listen to this. There was another leper, came to Jesus. Verse 40, completely different. See, Naaman, he comes with chariots, horses, army, everybody. Big show, big show. This leper comes running. Sees Jesus. Yes, Kneels down. Begs him. Master, please. He didn't ask for healing. He said, please. Cleanse my heart. Cleanse. See, he understood. His problem wasn't leprosy. His problem was he needed forgiveness. He needed restoration. You see, to be a leper, you lost everything. Sin will destroy your life. It will take a long time, but it will happen. Come on, amen. amen. And many times, it's not the outward sin. Come on. It's inside our hearts. Sin of unforgiveness, sin of bitterness. Sin that we have to be cleansed from, we can't be healed till we're cleansed. Gotta be holy. God is asking us. He's commanded us. As be different than everybody else. 
Ustaz ur bagi cik cik nasu. Be holy. Arum bagi cik cik. Be clean. Turun bagi. In your heart. In your heart. Tu sikit tak terang. Anda rata turun bagi. All over the room. You gotta see it now. Come on. All over this room. In urugur tay. Diabetes. There's heart disease. Turun ni urugur bagi. Lung issues. There is circulation problems. I'm hearing all this right now by the Holy Spirit. There is someone here, you've got an eye issue and your eyes are closed. There's another person here, you have really severe kidney issues. Someone in your family has it as well. It's like a hereditary. Some of you, there's issues in your physical body. Issues in your finances. Things have not gone right. And you are acting like everybody else. You're angry. You started to do wrong things. Because that's what everyone does. That's how everyone does business. That's how everyone does in their marriage. Oh, Pastor Troy, you don't understand Mongolian women. We're not like your American women. I know. We should be holy. Doesn't matter if you're Mongolian or whatever you are. Be holy! Be holy. I know it's difficult. Marriages and families. Been here for 12 years almost with you guys. I get it. I understand. But the only way that restoration comes is through holiness. It's holy to forgive. Release people. To love the unlovable. To give to those that don't deserve it. To help people who don't deserve help. It's their own fault. Why I help them? Because you're holy. That's what you're different than everybody else. I got a brother, you know, he's not a Christian. <laughs> he, he found out I was coming here to Mongolia helping him. Helping the kids, you know. And and we've given, given out thousands of shoes, and we gave out a thousand winter coats last year. This year. And now we're coming with our masks and doing the save the lives of kids. This is not like anything you've ever heard held here. We had it made especially for Mongolia. So he said, "Why are you helping them?" Why don't you help the black kids in America? And I said, I want to help everybody. Come on, amen. amen. Because that's holy. It's nothing to do with me. It's Holiness that makes us do things for people that don't deserve it. There's no reason for me to be here. It's holiness of God. Come on, amen. Amen. It's different. It's distinct. God said to us, "Be, be holy." Be a holy. Christian. Come on, stand up. Let's pray. The Holy Spirit is coming to cleanse people. Mm. I can sense by the Holy Spirit right now. Some of you, you're making decisions right now. You won't forgive. 
and so you won't be healed. Your life, your finances, your family won't receive healing because you won't forgive, you won't cleanse yourself. God is challenging many of you in this room right now. You've been through horrible things. People have, has done really bad things to you. I'm so sorry for that. I really, I really am. I'm so sorry. It's normal for you to be bitter. It's normal for you to be hurt. That's what everybody does. They just shut themselves off. They just don't trust people. Don't trust trust They must never forgive the husband because what if he does it again? They will not forgive their family who has done them very wrong and abused But that's what everyone does. They, they hang on to their hurt. They will not forgive. But I'm asking you, the Holy Spirit is moving and He's saying, Will you be holy today? I need you to be holy. As I am holy. Come on, lift your hands all over the world. The sign of surrender to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I thank you. That with men, this is not possible. It's not possible. It's too much. Too much pain. Too, much too many things. But with you, God, all things are possible. For those that will believe, we believe in the Holy Spirit. We believe in the grace of God. To help us to forgive. Father, I pray right now for every person here. Maybe you're here and you're not a Christian. You don't know God. And you say, God, I know my heart. I have all these things. I am. My heart is black. It's full of anger. It's full of hurt. God wants to forgive you. And make you holy today. Because he is holy. And he forgives those that don't deserve forgiveness. And he's here to forgive you today. To wipe away your sin. Remove your shame. And to restore honor back to your life. He wants to honor you today. And remove the shame of your past. The shame that is in your life. So Father, we ask you right now. Come on, you know, you know the things you must let go. You know the cleansing that needs to take place in your life. Cleanse yourself right now. No more hurt, no more bitterness, no more unforgiveness. No more cheating, no more lying. No more greed. No more pride. No more arrogance. No more anger. Lord, we want to be holy. Different than everybody else. Distinctive God. Cleanse us today. Come on, right now, the Holy Spirit is moving. Come on, some of you need to say that name and tell them you forgive them right now. Right where you're at, you need to release that husband, that family member, those people. That have hurt you, cheated you, <laughs> stolen from you. They don't deserve your forgiveness. They don't deserve for you to release them and let them go. This is not about them, this is about you. You must be clean. You must be clean. Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus. Come on, you're sick right now. 
God is coming right now. Because of cleansing, healing, restoration. Naaman's skin returned better than what it was before. Like a newborn baby. That's what God wants. He wants to bring restoration to your life. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 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 Come put your hand over the place you're sick right now. In the name of Jesus. The name that is above every other name. The name that is higher. It is greater. It is holy. In the name of Jesus. We command all sickness, all disease. Every demonic spirit. Every spirit of lack. Every spirit of poverty. Every lying spirit. Every spirit of depression. Every unclean spirit. Go in Jesus. And we say. Jesus. Yes, Be healed. And be restored. From diabetes, from heart disease. Lung infections. Kidney disease. Eye problems. Every part. Arthritis. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Hormones that some women are coming into place. Coming into balance. Someone with ear problems being healed right now. Jesus. Jesus. People with knee issues. Pain in their knees. Healing is coming. Oh, this winter will not be like the other winters. In Jesus' name. Jesus in the Healing, healing. Restoration. Father, thank you. For making us holy. By the power of the Holy Spirit. We forgive, we release. We let go of the anger, the bitterness. The disappointment. The hurt, the pain. Lord, we thank you. No more lying, no more cheating. No more deception, God. No more sin, God. We thank you for the holy God. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.